you are gonna experience some powerful words from the essence of life of powerful people. New food can only be taken when the old one is out of the stomach. Everything is good in moderation. Let food be the medicine, and medicine be the food. Very often the best medicine is to go without it. If you are in a bad mood, go for a walk. If you are still in a bad mood, go for another walk. Excessive food causes disease. All disease begins in the gut. Any excitement and strong manifestation of feelings is dangerous. In everything, a slow transition from one to another is important. When in a state of hunger, one ought not to undertake labor. Never put off treatment until later. Both sleep and insomnolence, when immoderate, are bad. Tell me what you eat, and I'll tell you what illness do you have. Disease that come from overwork are cured by rest and those that come from idleness are cured by work. The human soul develops until death. Time always contains an opportunity. The natural healing force within each of us is the greatest force in getting well. It is necessary to treat not only the disease, but also to counteract the causes that cause it. Disease always comes either from an excess or from a deficiency, that is, from an imbalance. Any excess is contrary to nature. Doctor's first commandment, do no harm. When the brain is healthy and in a calm state, a person thinks sensibly. The drunkenness of fathers and mothers is the cause of the weakness and sickness of children. The doctor heals the disease but nature heals. Some believe that we feel with the heart because it shrinks and freezes with sadness and worries. However, the heart is not capable of understanding and thinking. Only the brain can do this. And it is he who gives rise to our feelings. Hunger weakens, weakens and kills a person. Heavy food destroys the human body. Therefore, you need to look for the middle. In despair, the sick person brings himself closer to death. Just as clothiers clean cloth, knocking it out of dust, so gymnastics cleanses the body. Avoid sex in old age, because at this age it is safer to use other sources of pleasure. Do not tell your illness to anyone, otherwise you risk getting advice that can harm you. Thank you for watching.